Hi guys, Gene here with Fire Sprint. I'm going to show you how to set up this retail priced uh, sales guide that you can save as a PDF or print off and send to your customer in just a matter of minutes. So the first thing you're going to do is you get a link from us either via email or you download it off our website and make your own copy of this price grid. Now the links that we send should automatically force you to create your own copy of this price grid, but if not, uh, and let's say you're clicking in here and it's giving you editing errors, you can go up to file and make a copy and you make your own copy. Now keep in mind, the moment you make the copy, we will make sure that that price grid is up to date in terms of all pricing is current and correct. However, if you're uh, working off a price grid that's maybe a year old, you may want to get a new copy of it from us uh, with updated pricing. So there's instructions here and then a link to this video if you need to be reminded. But then let me just go through this here uh, and set this up. So these are retail prices. So we're going to want to calculate that based on the margin that we want. We're going to want to set up our business name and our company contact information. But before we do that, let's go check out the net price grid. So this is net pricing. Of course, this is not actual net pricing. This pricing has been changed because we do not share uh, net pricing with the public. And this is a publicly available video. Uh, but we'll keep this up to date. You need to do nothing here on this tab. But then we want to go to the retail price tab and this grid here can be modified. So we suggest maybe about a 40% margin here, but you can set whatever margin you like here, whether it's maybe 20% for a really good client or maybe something higher if, if this is just a product that you're adding as an add-on. Um, but those price grids can be changed and you can see the whole grid updates automatically to reflect the margin that you choose to set there. So I'm going to set that at 40% as that tends to be the most common. And then that's all we need to do here on this tab. The final tab is the retail sell sheet here. And I have two cells here that I need to change. So the first cell is business name. So I'm just going to call this Gene Signs. And then the second cell down here is our contact information at jeanssigns.com, for example, um, totally fake, but you're going to want to set your own business contact information in there. And then if you want to change the text or modify this, you can do that any way you like. Then before we print it and save it, I'm going to click up in A1, that top uh, leftmost cell, and then I'm going to come down here to H50 or approximately, and I want to make sure I get a nice grid and select the the all the area that I want to print. Okay, so I've held shift and I've selected that and I'm going to go up to file and print. And that brings me here and a couple more things that we want to do. Uh, print instead of current sheet, I'm going to say selected cells. Now, in this case, it didn't make much of a difference because it's set up really nicely. But if you had um, more data on there or something like that, that would help compress it and make sure that that sheet prints nicely. And then um, I don't like those grid lines on there. I don't think it, it looks very clean. So I'm going to go under formatting and deselect show grid lines. And now that gives me a really clean, really nice looking um, setup there. And then I can go to next. And then under my video here, I can save this as a PDF or I can print it on my Konica Minolta printer or whatever else you want to do. And then all you need to do if you save it as a PDF, all you need to do is attach it to an email and send it direct to your, directly to your client. And you've got all your information here. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Marketing at firesprint.com is kind of uh, gets a hold of all of us here. Um, otherwise, uh, firesprint.com, check us out. Thank you for watching and good luck.